ever wondered what makes you sick or keeps you healthy, it's all about tiny troublemakers, bacteria and viruses. These minuscule marvels and menaces are all around us, on us, and even inside us. They're part of an invisible world, a microscopic universe teeming with life and activity. But don't let their size fool you. These tiny organisms can pack a punch, causing everything from a common cold to a global pandemic. But it's not all doom and gloom. Many bacteria and viruses play crucial roles in keeping us healthy, breaking down our food, and even protecting us from other, more harmful invaders. It's a fascinating world, filled with drama, conflict, and cooperation. A world that's vital to our very existence. And it's a world we're going to explore together? So are you ready to shrink down and delve into the microscopic realm of these tiny troublemakers? Bacteria, these are living, single-celled organisms with diverse shapes and sizes. Just as snowflakes are unique, no two bacteria are exactly alike. They come in a variety of shapes, including spheres, rods, and spirals, and they can be found virtually everywhere. In the soil, in the water, in the air, and even inside our bodies. Now, not all bacteria are bad guys. In fact, many of them are our allies. These friendly bacteria play vital roles in our bodies, aiding digestion, producing vitamins, and warding off harmful bacteria. They're even essential in making delicious foods like cheese and yogurt. However, there are some bacteria that cause trouble. These harmful bacteria, such as Salmonella or E. coli, can cause infections and illnesses. They multiply rapidly, taking advantage of any weakness they find in our bodies. A tiny scratch, a piece of undercooked meat, or even a sip of contaminated water can be an open door for these microscopic invaders. But fear not, we have a secret weapon against these harmful bacteria. Antibiotics. These medicines work by either killing bacteria or stopping them from reproducing, giving our bodies the upper hand in the fight against infections. Antibiotics are our tools to fight against these bacterial infections. Viruses, on the other hand, are non-living entities that need host cells to survive and reproduce. Think of them as crafty hijackers. They can't do much on their own, but when they enter a living cell, they take over and use the cell's machinery to multiply. Here's how it works. Viruses latch onto a cell and inject their genetic material, which could be DNA or RNA. Once inside, they trick the cell into making countless copies of the virus. After a while, the cell bursts releasing all these new viruses ready to invade more cells. It's like a microscopic version of a sci-fi movie. Now, here's a fascinating fact. Viruses are picky about their hosts. They're not just looking for any old cell. Each virus is built to match with a specific type of cell, like a key to a lock. For example, the COVID-19 virus targets cells in our respiratory system, which is why it affects our breathing. Viruses come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, from simple spheres and rods to complex structures. These shapes help them to invade their preferred types of cells. Each virus is built to match with a specific type of cell, like a key to a lock. Our bodies come equipped with their own set of defenders, the immune system. Imagine a group of superheroes, each with their own special powers, working together to protect the city. That's our immune system, with our white blood cells as the superheroes. These cells are always on patrol, ready to fight any bacteria or viruses they encounter. Now, let's talk about vaccines. If the immune system is our superhero team, a vaccine is like a training simulation. It introduces a harmless piece of a virus or bacteria to our body. Our immune system learns to recognize this invader and prepares itself to fight the real deal. It's like giving our superheroes a heads up about a new villain in town. But what happens when our immune system is weakened? It's like our superheroes losing their powers. They struggle to fight off the invaders, and we get sick. That's why it's important to keep our immune system healthy. Eating a balanced diet, getting enough sleep, and regular exercise can help boost our immune system. Remember, our bodies are constantly at war with bacteria and viruses. It's a microscopic battle that we don't see, but it's happening right now, inside you. Every breath you take, every bite you eat, every cut you get, they're all potential entry points for these tiny invaders. A healthy immune system is our best line of defense against these tiny invaders. 
These tiny troublemakers spread through coughing, sneezing, and touching contaminated surfaces. Imagine a domino effect. One person coughs, releasing millions of microscopic invaders into the air. These invaders can cling to surfaces or float around, waiting for their next host. If someone else touches that contaminated surface, and then their face, they've just rolled out the red carpet for these uninvited guests. But it's not all doom and gloom. We have the power to disrupt this chain. Good hygiene practices are our first line of defense. Washing our hands regularly with soap and water, especially after visiting public places or before eating, can wash away these microscopic invaders. Using a tissue or the crook of our elbow when we cough or sneeze can prevent them from taking flight. And if we're feeling unwell, it's best to stay home to avoid spreading these tiny troublemakers to others. Good hygiene practices can help keep these troublemakers at bay. Despite their bad rap, bacteria play a vital role in our ecosystem and health. They're not just tiny troublemakers, they're also tiny helpers. For instance, the bacteria in our guts help digest food, produce vitamins, and even protect us from other harmful microbes. In the ecosystem, certain bacteria convert nitrogen in the air into a form that plants can use, playing a key role in the cycle of life. So, remember we're living in harmony with millions of bacteria. Don't fear them, but respect them. It's all about balance and understanding these tiny organisms. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to staying healthy and fighting off these tiny troublemakers. We've journeyed through the microscopic world, unveiling the mysteries of bacteria, the one-cell wonders and viruses, the non-living invaders. We've seen how our body's mighty defenders, the immune system, keep us safe. We've discovered how these tiny troublemakers spread and the importance of living in harmony with them. So keep exploring, keep asking questions, dive deeper into the fascinating world of biology, health, and the invisible beings that share our world. Remember, the more you know, the better equipped you are to keep these tiny troublemakers at bay. Until next time, stay curious and healthy.